Hey, good evening, friends. It's Carl. Welcome to the bathroom. Time for the uh, Thursday scrape. Hope everybody's doing good. I'm doing all right. Week's been pretty good. Uh, standard week, nothing exciting. Back is still a little wonky, so no exercise update yesterday. Um, plus, we had some rain. Some pretty big thunderstorms rolled through. So, uh, no walking outside anyway. But I'm going to give it another week, and then I'm going to try and get back on the exercise bandwagon. So, enough about that. Let's get into the shave. Bay Rum Soap, PAA, uh, Pineapple Bay Rum, Colonel Conk, uh, Wet Shave Club, Boar Brush, Lord L6 with a Gillette Wilkinson Sword. Um, yeah, Gillette Wilkinson Sword, one of the Indian Blades. Um, I got to when I first started wet shaving, I bought a pack of 200 of those things, and uh, I don't think I'm ever going to run out. Good thing I like them. <laughs> um, for the post, I'll probably be using the uh, Nivea Two Phase again. Um, so yeah, anyway, let's get shaving. So yeah, hope everybody's doing good. Like I said, week was week's been pretty standard so far. Nothing super exciting. Work is work. Life is life. No exercise. Back is still a little achy. I'm getting fatter. I think the last weight update I did with you guys, I was uh, 242. And uh, since my back's been out, I've been doing a little comfort eating. And uh, well, I know it's not good, but it's what happens. And uh, I'm up to about 245. So it is what it is. Mostly salt and uh, waste, I'm sure, because... Uh, you know, when your back hurts and you don't want to stand and do your meal prep, it's easy to order a pizza. Or run across the street and grab a cheese hamburger or something like that. So, anyway. What else? Um, watched a few videos over the past week. Gino had a good shave the other day on uh, Williams Wednesday. Um, Solid Shaves put out a couple videos over the past week I caught up on. On Tuesday, good stuff. Um, she shaves with Jill. Had an awesome mail call from Trevor, and then she did a uh, mentorship shave. Um, who else? Watched Just Lance, and I found out about the uh, the big uh, mega raffle for uh, John Conley's kiddo. Um, so, John, if you happen to watch this, man, I, uh, I'll, uh, add her to the prayer list, my friend. Um, so, it's what I do, you guys know that. So, anyway, man, my thoughts and prayers are with you guys as y'all deal with this, uh, medical stuff. Sounds like it's going to be a pretty awesome raffle. I don't remember exactly everything that was uh, up for grabs. Or if you're just feeling generous and you don't need any more shave gear in your den, just hop over to PayPal and uh, hit up the Frugal Shave. Pretty sure it's at, it's uh, Frugal Shave at Gmail. Something like that. I'll put the link in the... Uh, description or the email address you go to your paypal if you have a paypal account you can send a donation or buy entries to the raffle it's five dollars an entry and uh, if you want to know all the details you can either check out the frugal shave uh, facebook page i think it's frugal shave 3d or watch just lance's video and he's got a pretty good rundown of the stuff, if I remember right, um, runs until the end of this month, so the end of April. I think April 30th is the last day to enter. And uh, go donate to a good cause and take a chance. Maybe you'll win some, some really nice sounding shave gear. I mean, it sounds like everybody and their mother who's an artisan or soap maker, razor maker, whatever, everybody's donating good stuff quality gear for a great cause so uh, 
if you have PayPal, do it. If you don't have PayPal, figure something out. I mean, we could probably figure something out. I think just I think Lance said it's like so far about sixty five pounds worth of shave gear, which I mean. Consider the size and weight of most shape stuff, <laughs> a couple ounces here and there. You know, that's that's quite a bit of gear. And anyway, first pass down, just kind of blowing through this shave. I got to just get ready for work. It's funny, um, Tuesday morning, I honestly usually skip the Tuesday shave because I usually get a pretty good shave on uh, Sunday with the straight or the shavette that I use and I don't work on Monday and I can usually skip flaming lather skip my Tuesday shave if I don't feel like it and uh, get away with it just because I can kind of go visit patients or whatever and I don't see any supervisors but uh, <laughs> Tuesday for whatever reason I decided to wake up and have a shave and I had a shave with this razor this blade and just a little bit of Cremo original just to kind of knock the whiskers down a little bit. And lo and behold, I'm standing in my office in our uh, um, educational or, or, or college and education liaison and uh, um, distance learning director guy. He makes all the educational videos for the department, and that's how we put out training and stuff like that sometimes. And uh, he walks into my office, and he just pulls out his phone and starts taking pictures of my face. And I'm like, I'm like, what? What are you? What are you doing? And he said, Well, I need an example of appropriate um, facial hair that's within the policy. And he said, you're always pretty clean shaven and keep your beard trimmed and blah, blah, blah. And it meets all the company standards. So I guess I'm going to be in some type of a training video for the community colleges who send us their paramedic students of what to look like, which I guess is better than being the what not to look like guy, right? So, because our dress code is... Kind of weird, you know, we have to have, your hair can't be below your collar, your beard, you can't have a full beard. If you have a goatee or a mustache, it has to be neatly trimmed. Sideburns can't be like an inch or something ridiculous. No longer than an inch or two, you know, down the side of your cheek and, you know, uh, no or limited visible tattoos. I've been working for this company for almost 20 years and they just barely updated the tattoo policy. And the tattoo policy is so strict and ridiculous, it's not even worth it. Like, they said, oh, we're going to revisit the tattoo policy and, you know, you're going to be able to have visible tattoos. Because before that, we couldn't have any visible tattoos. And uh, so they sent out this policy and it's like, <laughs> you guys ever watch that old Steve Martin movie, The Jerk, where he's, he's at the carny? And he's like, you get to pick a prize and it has to be in this section between this and this. And it's like really small. That's kind of what our tattoo policy is. It's like tattoo policy has to be able to be, the tattoo has to be able to be covered up by the palm of your hand. It can't connect the elbow and the bicep. <laughs> and, uh, and of course it has to be unoffensive. So it's just ridiculous. Because now what happens is if you have visible tattoos like on your arm or whatever that don't fit those guidelines or before they changed them, they'd wear a long sleeve shirt year round, which here in Central Texas is stupid because, you know, 100 plus degrees. And then in the, uh, or you had to wear like one of those sport sleeve cover things like you see the, like the basketball players, like those compression sleeves. So you'd see people running around in like their uniform, short sleeve uniform shirts with a blue or a white or a gray or a flesh tone, just sleeve. And it just looked dumb. I was like, it looks, that to my opinion, 
looks less professional than just having a tattoo. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because it's like it's obvious you're trying to hide something. And in 2019, most people don't care about tattoos. They've become so normal and accepted. Part of everyday culture. It's not like, you know, back in the day when only Riff Raff had them. Cultural norms have changed, you know. But our company, for whatever reason, stuck in the old days. And they're like, well, it's because people don't trust people with tattoos. And I'm like, man, if you are sick and or dying, I'm pretty sure that the 80-year-old lady who doesn't feel good, who wants to go to the hospital, is not going to care too much about the guy who is, you know, busting his hump to take good care of her. As long as he's nice and he's polite and he does a good job and his medicine is good, it shouldn't matter. But I guess there's still some people who it does matter to. So anyway, that's that. I don't even know what I was talking about. Oh yeah, the pictures. So anyway, so luckily I shaved that morning. And he even asked me, because he came in, he was like, did you shave this morning? I said, yes, sir. He said, okay. He's like, you're just, it, I was like, can you not tell? And he was like, well, you've got kind of dark facial hair and you're like me. It's just, it, it, it's never really looks like your baby butt smooth, so. which is true. I always have a little bit of a shadow, no matter how smooth the shave is, but it is what it is. And that's the shave. <laughs> Super quick, sorry, not a lot going on to, tonight. Just some uh, random blathering and a super fast shave. I'm gonna do the post off camera and I'm gonna be using the Nivea. So, thanks for watching. I know it wasn't super exciting. I hope it didn't bore you. Appreciate you spending some time with me. Go check out Lance's video about the raffle. Donate to the raffle. Uh, do a good deed. Five five bucks, man. Five bucks buys you a spot. Goes to a great cause. If you can give a little more, that's fantastic. Um, if not, prayers. Let John know you're thinking about him and his family during this time. And uh, we will see you on the next video. Go spend some time with your friends and family. It's really important. As always, I appreciate your time. Hope you have a great rest of the week and the weekend treats you well. I'll see you uh, in the next shave. Maybe Sunday, maybe something before that, I don't know. But uh, have a great evening. Thank you again. God bless. We'll see you next time.